Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Greg Poehler, Rachel Blanchard, and Priscilla Faya. Thank you so much for being here on the Valder BB Show. Thanks for having, having, us. Us. having us. All right, then. You guys are all talking in one voice. I, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty different yeah. there. If, I don't, if you don't mind, since Greg's the odd man out, we'll start with Greg. How about that? Go for Great. it. Let's do it. Greg, thank you so much for coming to talk about you, me, and her. I had a chance to watch you guys' trailer last night. Very complex, poly romantic comedy yes yes it's a show. your role tell me your role real quick uh yeah i played jack who is married to emma which is rachel's character uh who are a married couple living in suburban portland and uh find themselves both falling in love with the same woman who's this one here in the middle um and so the show is really about whether this polyamorous relationship can work and a couple that finds themselves in a in a, in a situation they never thought they'd be in Okay, Rachel, your role. Tell me your role. Boom. I play Emma, <laughs> yes. Jack's wife, uh, and I'm an architect. I've been st not stuck in a marriage, but you know we have a little bit of that seven-year itch going on, and then we both fall for Izzy. We live in in a relatively conventional world, and we try and have this unique situation work within that world. And then in season three, I'm trying to find my own voice a little bit more and some independence so I go to Seattle and explore dating other women and that's where my character leaves off season two and starts off and season Priscilla. three. And Priscilla. Yes, uh, I play Izzy, um, a college grad student who's trying to get her PhD in um, psychology and she meets uh, both full first Jack and then Emma and finds herself in a situation where she's really fallen for these two people and it's uh, very unusual for her. She's never experienced this, but um, she's just decided to jump in and see where it's going to take her and so she finds herself in the middle of these two really wonderful people um, trying to figure out if a polyamorous relationship can really work. and. Um, you know, just like any other relationship, it comes with struggles and joy and love and pain. And in season three, um, you know, Emma's off in Seattle and Jack and Izzy get to experience what being in a relationship, just the two of them, is like. And uh, also, Izzy explores a lot more things in season three. Her dad, who she's estranged from, comes back into her life. And yeah, so it's um, complicated and exciting and um, yeah. Okay, so this is television's first polyromantic uh, comedy. Priscilla, would you do this in your real life? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yes? <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's been a really interesting thing exploring um, what it's like to be in a polyamorous um, relationship. Uh, for me, um, I think the the best thing about this show is that it's about real, you know, just real people who have never done this before. Um, Izzy's never been with a woman, and I, I think that it's really interesting for her to really fall in love with a person, you know, with two people, and um, following those instincts and following her heart. It's not necessarily about labels. Um, it's more about falling in love with these individual people. So, Rachel, yeah. you guys are all pretty relatively young people, so it seems like in your generation you stripped away labels. She said it really good. You stripped away labels, you stripped away barriers and titles and all of that kind of stuff. Is this something that, um, and, and this is not an old thing, polyamorous, it's not, I mean, not a new thing. So are we going to see you guys really continue to be successful in your seasons with this? Well, first of all, Valder, thank you for counting me as part of the younger generation. I am going to send a, a tape of this to my kids. Um, so that's wonderful. This is the, one of the greatest moments of my week. 
uh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, for us, uh, it, it, maybe it isn't new, but it was new to me. <laughs> when we got the script, I, I did some research on polyamory, and um, for me, that was the biggest eye-opener, was how common it is and how many people are, are engaging in it, the younger generation, I would say, <laughs> more than, than my generation. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the menu of, what's, of, of what a, a relationship can be is expanding, and this is one of the one of the new forms. I think I think it's it's probably also been around, you know, it has been around for a while, but it's nice to actually see it reflected on television. I think for, you know, like in the 50s when they would have couples who weren't allowed in bed together, they would have to be in twin beds beside each other when obviously most married couples weren't living that way. I think there are probably a lot of different relationships that we don't see on TV, so it's like, it's exciting for us to bring one to television, and I hope that we can expand even more and show different relationships in future seasons that just reflects what's going on in the world. I wish I had a whole day to talk to you guys because <laughs> the subject is so rich. And it, yeah. it is. It, it's very complex, but it's here, and people mm -hmm. are going to have to address it. But you guys are doing a great job in Season 3 on DirecTV, Channel 239. We, we can watch it. Do you have a schedule, or we just go there and binge watch? We uh, can go there and binge watch. Yeah, you yeah. can catch up on season one and two. Yeah. Um, and uh, but season three uh, airs Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on Directv Channel 239. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. I want you to come back because I know you're going to have a season four. Yeah. <laughs> yes. With thank this you. interesting we hope so. uh, polyamorous <laughs> topic. So thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, and it's been my pleasure. Thanks, Thanks Valder. Thanks for having us.